Hello, everyone. My name is Kyle. I'm the Buddhist and Mindfulness Spiritual Advisor at Northeastern University's Center for Spirituality, Dialogue, and Service. Today, we're going to do a little bit of yoga. So, I'll invite everyone to start with your knees mat width distance apart, and your big toes are touching. Resting your buttocks on your heels, slowly start to walk your hands forward, placing your forehead on the mat. This is called child pose. And here you can just relax for a little. Let your neck soften, your belly soften, your arms relax, start to breathe. Breathing deeply in through the nose. Feeling your chest rise, your belly fill. And then exhaling. Softening the belly, the chest, expelling the air from the nose. Just following this rhythm for a few deep breaths. Finding a little bit of stillness before the practice. Your next inhale, rising up, coming to all fours. This is called tabletop pose. You want your shoulder to be directly above your wrists and your hip directly above your knees, creating a square or block with the mat. Your inhale. Dropping the belly, lifting the head, tilting it back as you look up, inhaling, exhaling, pulling the belly in, curling the spine, looking towards the belly button, inhaling, repeating that, chest fills, eyes look up, exhale, and gaze towards the belly button, Early in the spine. One more time. Cat cow pose. Inhaling. And exhaling. From here, walking your hands forward, maybe about six inches. Curling your toes underneath your heels. And bringing your body weight back onto your heels. Making sure your knees, your Feet are both hip width distance apart. Firmly planting the hands into the mat. Start to lift your buttocks off the mat, bringing your knees to 90 degrees. You just rest there, pressing the balls of your feet into the mat. Your heels lift. Your heels are parallel to the back wall as your knees stay at 90 degrees. Inhaling here one last time. Exhaling. Your heels start to descend towards the mat. And you can walk it out a little bit. This is downward facing dog. For downward facing dog, your palms are planted firmly into the mat. Your fingers are wide. You want the majority of pressure to be on that L shape between your thumb and your index finger. You want your chest to push back towards your thighs, letting the heels drop towards the mat. Breathing here. Feeling the body start to warm up. One more inhale. Exhaling, rocking your feet towards the palms. Inhale, lift halfway. 90 degree angle between the belly and the thighs. Exhaling, folding over the thighs. Ready and go. Come into ragdoll pose. Your right elbow is gripped by your left hand and vice versa. Letting everything hang loose. Walking out your hips. Letting the spine be long. Same with the breath. Mm -hmm. 
Let it back go. Do your next inhale. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Rolling up. Coming to standing. The palms lift. Exhaling. Bringing your palms together at the heart center. Anjali Mudra. Inhaling deeply. Hands lift. Exhaling. Straight spine as you fold over your thighs. Inhale, come up halfway. Breath deep. Exhale. Plant the palms, step the feet back. Come into plank pose. Otherwise known as high push-up. And we'll just pause here for a minute and check our alignment. You want a straight line from your heel to the crown of your head. You want your shoulders to be squared over your palms, being aware of how pressure is distributed through the palms. Putting the majority of pressure on that shape between the thumb and the index, the L shape that you see there. Take a deep breath, belly firm. Exhaling, either putting the knees on the mat or just lowering down, real slow. Inhaling, healing up. You can try lifting the palms a little. Tops of the feet kick into the mat. Exhaling, let it go. You do that a couple more times. Help warm up the back. Inhaling, peeling the chest off the mat. Exhaling, setting it down. One last time, keeping the legs together. Inhale. Exhale. Palms plant, press back, returning to downward facing dog. Breathing in. So that created a general outline for our first vinyasa, sun salutation. Take another deep breath. Inhale. Exhale it. Locking your feet between the hands. Inhale halfway. Exhale full. Synchronizing the breath and movement. Inhale. Palms lift. Exhale. Folding over the thighs. Inhale. Coming up halfway. Exhale. Planting the palms, stepping back, lowering with control. Inhaling, lifting the chest. Exhaling, setting it down. Palms plant, press back, downward facing dog. And the hair is something I should. Take a breath. Each time you return to downward facing dog, just being aware of how the body has changed. Don't want to see any more heat, any more looseness. Just checking in with the body and the breath. Take another inhale here. Exhaling. Stepping between the hands. Inhale. Rise halfway. Exhale. Folding over the back. Inhale. Palms lift. Breath deep. Exhale. Letting it go. Inhale. Come up halfway. Exhale. Plant palms, step the feet back. Lower with control. Inhale, peeling the chest. Exhaling, setting it down, pressing back, downward, facing down. Keeping the breath long and deep. In. Any sort of discomfort that might arise. Maybe exhaustion or tightness. 
See if you can turn towards that sensation with a sense of curiosity rather than judgment or aversion. Take another inhale here. Exhale. Feet come between the hands. Inhale, rise halfway. Exhale. From here, bring the feet together. Set the butt down. Put your body weight in your heels. See if you can lift the toes to make sure your body weight is distributed mostly in the heels. Inhaling. Your palms rise. Your butt sinks. Tuck the tailbone. Coming into chair pose. Just keeping the breath nice and deep. Feeling the legs start to come alive. One more inhale here. Exhaling palms to heart center. Bringing your left elbow onto your right knee. Twisting the spine. This pose makes sure that your left knee gets pulled back in line with your right knee. You want to move that knee from your pelvis, keeping your pelvis in parallel to the front wall. Your palms press, your right shoulder opens up, your gaze is towards the sky. Sit a little lower. Here, bring your gaze down. Left hand touches the mat, right hand lifts, and then inhaling, left leg comes up. We need to twisting half moon, just playing with balance here. One more inhale. Exhale, that right hand comes down. Coming into standing split. Our left heel is pressing back. Our right leg is straightening. Our torso is long. Trying to keep that left hip in line with the right hip. So of them parallel to the ground. So not tilting the left leg, just keeping it in line. One more inhale. Exhaling with control, lowering that left foot behind you. So you want your left toes pointed to 10 o'clock. Left foot at a 45 degree angle. And your right knee comes to a 90 degree angle. Then inhaling, take up warrior one. For warrior one, your arms are lifted. Your left hip is pressing forward. Right hip is coming back. Inhaling, feeling strong. Staying with the breath. The outer edge of your left foot is gripping the mat. Taking one more breath here. Exhale. Bring the palms to the mat. The right foot back. You can either place the right foot on the mat or you can hover it. Lower to halfway this time. So your elbows are at 90 degrees. And inhaling, straightening the elbows. Tops of the feet press into the mat. Hips lift. Upward facing dog. If that's not available, you can do the back bend we did at the beginning of class. Exhaling. Pressing back, downward facing dog. Just breathing. Feeling the heat build in the bottom. Savoring this experience. Using the breath as a barometer, how our bodies doing? Just trying to stay aware. Not push ourselves too far or too little. Just do what feels right. One more inhale here. Exhale. Feet come between the hands. Inhaling halfway. Exhale. Bringing the feet together. Inhale, butt drops. Arms lift. Chair pumps. Body weight in your heels. You can either have the arms apart, hands apart, or you can bring the palms together. 
You want your biceps by the ears as your butt drops down, tailbone tucks, body weight comes into the heels. Inhale one more time. Exhaling, hands to heart center, right elbow, left knee. Again, being aware of the alignment between your two knees, making sure that right knee isn't popping forward, bringing it back through the pelvis. Using the right elbow to help open the chest. Gaze goes towards the sky. Breath in. Looking down at the mat, right palm or fingertips touch the mat, hand rises, bringing your right leg up, twisting halfway. You can look at the ground, you can look at the side wall, you can look at your left hand. Just playing with balance, making sure all four corners of your left foot are rooted into the mat. That foot is nice and strong. Body weight evenly distributed for this part. One more inhale. Exhale. Bringing your left palm to the mat. Keeping that right foot lifted. The right heel presses back. Toes point towards the ground. Staying with the breath. One more inhale. Exhale. That right foot meets the mat. Left knee to 90 degrees, right toes to 2 o'clock, 45 degrees. Inhale, rise up. Just keeping the pose dynamic. Your inhales, feeling your arms straighten. <laughs> Exhaling, pushing that right hip forward, left hip back, maybe sinking a little bit lower. Proud warrior one. One last inhale. Exhale. Palms come to meet the mat. Pause and plank. You can lift that left foot if you want a little bit in the core. Inhale here. Exhaling. Coming down halfway. Inhale. Coming up. Chest broad. Upward facing down. Exhaling. Downward facing dog. Breathe. Your next inhale, lifting that right foot. Exhaling, coming to three legged plank and bringing that right knee to your right elbow. Inhale, press back. Three legged dog. Exhale. Right knee to your forehead. Feeling the body heat up. One more inhale. Exhale. Right knee to your left elbow. Hold it here for a breath. Just explore what it's like for the body to be this engaged. One more inhale. Pulling that foot back. Exhale, stepping through. Coming up to a lunge. So our left toes are pointed forward. The left leg is straight. Your thigh muscle gripping the bone. That right knee to 90 degrees. Inhaling here. Exhaling, slowly dropping that left foot, that left knee. Hands coming to heart center. Bringing the top of the left foot onto the mat. You can place your palms on your right thigh. Inhaling. Coming back to the breath. From here, bringing your hands to the inner part of your thigh. Heel towing that right foot out a couple inches. Inhale deeply. Exhale. Bringing your elbows towards the mat. Coming into lizard pose. Following the breath. So even though this pose isn't quite as active, 
the earlier parts of this sequence. Still want to stay with the breath. Keeping our focus on the breath helps quiet the mind. It helps us be a little bit more sensitive to what our body is telling us. Inhaling, coming up, curling the left toes under, bringing the right foot back. Inhale deeply, exhale, coming down, inhale, rise up, upward facing dog, or your cobra, just a smaller back bend if that feels better. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Last side, inhale, left foot nice and high, exhale, coming forward, left knee, left elbow, inhale, foot rises, exhale, knee to the forehead, inhale, foot high, exhale, bringing the knee over and holding it, just for a breath, staying with it. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, pulling it through, setting the left foot down. Right heel is lifted, right knee is straight, toes pointing forward. Inhale, rise up into the lunge. So feeling how sinking into that left knee opens up the right hip. I'm just breathing into whatever sensations this pose is presenting. One more inhale here. Exhale. The palms come to meet the mat. Gently setting that right knee down. Heel toeing the left foot to the side. Top of the right foot meets the mat. Inhale. Spine long. Exhale. Lower slow. Breath soft and deep. Inhale, slowly rising back up, keeping the palms planted underneath the shoulders. Left foot comes back. Inhaling here, plank. Exhaling, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. So your last downward facing dog. So just really enjoying it. You noticing how different it is compared to 20, 25 minutes ago. Inhale here. Exhale, gently lowering the knees onto the mat. Bringing your feet out in front of you. Extending the right leg. Bringing the left foot on the inside of the right thigh. Inhale, your right toes point back, your arms lift. Right heel pressing towards the front of the room. Exhale, pulling over the leg. And just reaching for whatever is available. For some of us, that might be the shin. Others might be the toes, such as myself. Others still might wrap around completely on the foot. If you're particularly flexible. Wherever you're at, just keep the toes bent, pointing towards you, that right heel extended. So yoga is just about listening to the body. No competition, just a conversation with yourself, seeing where you're at, what the body's asking for today. Here, coming back up, with that left knee pointing towards the front of the room. Your right foot steps to the other end of that left knee. Hugging your right leg in, take your right hand, place it behind you, making sure both your hips are secure on the mat. Inhale, spine long. 
lifting your left hand, exhale, twisting towards the right, bringing your left elbow on the outside of the right knee, and your left hand comes and grabs the right knee. Feeling a spinal twist here, really deep, thorough twist, along with the stretch from the outer edge of the right thigh. Staying with the breath. And then your next inhale, slowly unraveling, doing a small counter twist, exhale. Recentering, right foot comes on the inside of the left leg as the left leg extends towards the front of the mat. The right knee moves towards the mat. Let's open up the right hip a little bit. Inhaling, palms high, exhaling. Moving towards the left toes. Left toes point back, heel points forward. Might be a little bit different from the right side. Breathing into the sensations of this pose. And when you're ready, starting to rise back. Bringing the right knee, pointing it towards the front of the room. So the left foot steps to the upper plane that right knee. Your, your sit bones are both firmly planted into the mat. Hugging the left leg in with the right arm as your left hand plants behind you. Inhale. Chest lifts. Right arm high. Exhale. Twist towards the left. Grabbing the left knee with your right hand. Staying with the breath, not forcing anything. Seeing what your body needs. One more breath. Your next inhale, coming back to the center, a slight counter twist. Exhale, let it go, extending both legs out. In front of you, you can lift your sit bones, move them back a little bit, walking your buttocks back, inhaling, lengthening the spine, both of your toes pointing back, heels pressing forward, arms high, and exhaling, folding over the legs, just grabbing what's available, try to keep the spine long. Maybe your hands are on the shins, maybe the toes, maybe the sides of your feet. Wherever your hands fall, keeping the feet active. So you want your legs to be engaged. This isn't a passive stretch. So really having an intention with this pose, regardless of how flexible we are, moving towards a particular direction. Toes move back. Heels, press forward. Legs are engaged, so even your thighs are gripping the bone. One more inhale. Exhaling, a little bit deeper. Inhale, rising up. Moving our feet forward. Getting your body ready for Shavasana. Lying down. Do one last pose. Bringing the legs in. Coming to Happy Baby Pose. Our elbows on the inside of our knees and our hands on the outside of our feet. Resting the neck on the mat. Your spine long. Trying to keep the safe from rolling out towards the mat. You want your heels to be above your knees. Inhaling. Exhale, using your elbows to open the thighs as your hands pull down. Breathing into the pose. 
staying aware of the sacra, we keep it rolling out onto the mat. As you're ready, you can gently release this pose, bringing your knees and giving them a little squeeze, rolling on your spine side to side. And then extending your limbs. Your legs coming down. Letting your feet splay open. Your palms face the sky. Closing your eyes. Coming into your Shavasana. Corpse pose. Just lying here. Allowing today's practice to soak into the body. Letting even the breath just return to natural normal breathing. Your eyes close and your breath soft. I invite you to stay in this pose for as long as you like. 